The tractors look like they got a really bad spray on tan. <laughs> Shocking. Right, so this is the Kubota DLC. It's finally here. Obviously, it came out today and it comes as part of the 1.6 update, which seemed to take forever for people like me on Xbox. But we're here. We're finally here. Now, there is a couple of things that I do just want to address first off. So if I put this picture up now, obviously, this is the first thing that I've seen when I came to me game saves today. And it looks pretty bad. But, and there is a but put this next picture up because they've adjusted the actual capacity that you can download mods it's gone from like four gigabyte up to eight gigabyte which is excellent and how they've had to do that is basically wipe everyone's mods i'll, I'll say everyone's uh, seems to be mostly on xbox from what i've been seeing on the different forums mind you but all you got to do is re-download the mods because i've started doing that again and obviously we've now got stone valley back up and running which is excellent so back to the kubota dlc obviously we've got all this equipment here which is great but we've also got some kubota clothes as well oh excellent so we've got a t-shirt there we then got a polo shirt that i like that now i'd buy that in real life to be fair that looks well smart we then got a zip up fleece type jacket soft shell maybe we then got a hoodie and we then got an orange hoodie Ooh, very nice and if we go down to the hats as well because we've also got a baseball cap right there oh you're gonna rep your kabouted tractors with all this equipment all this <laughs> clothing very nice and as you may have guessed from all the fact sheet Fridays we've had so far, we've got a few tractors. We've got four there. We then got a front loader. We've got two skid steers. We've then got two gators. And we've got two front loader tools. Ooh, very nice. So we're going to the first one, the M5 series. 92 horsepower from its engine. 21 mile an hour top speed. 64 and a half grand. You then got usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tyres. Come down the front weight. So you've got no. 90 kilo. 180, 270, 360, 450, or no. And your engine setup, so 92 is standard, 106, or 92. Obviously, that's the small ones. So you can be using that for doing your grape vines and your olive groves. We then move on to the M6 series. Obviously, this is going to be a little bit bigger than the previous one. So it starts off with 104 horsepower, 24 mile an hour top speed, 85 grand. Although, saying that, it's got the three point on it which is okay fair enough so it starts off 80 grand so why do we come into it and add an extra five grand option straight away why do people do that i don't know anyway so 80 grand usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tires you can then add a front weight so no 90 180 270 360 450 you can then add a three point or nothing obviously you can have the three point on the front aren't you then front loader attacher, you've got no Kubota or no. So the engine set up, so 104, 114, 132, 141, and back to 104. Obviously, you're going to go for the three point on the front of that, aren't you? Definitely. We then move on to the M7 series. This starts off 128 horsepower, 31 grand. Again, it's come in with that three point already on. What's going on with these? tractors obviously trying to get you to buy extra shameful so 118 and a half grand to buy if you just get it as standard usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tires one in signs yes or no put those on the back there front weights no 90 180 270 360 450 540 three point and no i mean i know you're gonna have the three point obviously but why have it as a standard option already put in just leave it as the base tractor that's all i'm saying front loader attacher no kubota or no then engine set up so 128 148 168 and then back to 128 we then go on to the m8 series this is the big boy of the pack so it starts off with 180 horsepower 31 mile an hour top speed again it's added that three point <sighs> shocking 
usual shenanigans with the wheel bounce and the tyres. Then we've got front weight, 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, 280, 320, 360, 400, 3 point, and then no. Wow, that's <laughs> lots of different increments on those weights. Front loader attacher, no. Kubota, or no. And then engine setup, so 180, 200, or 180. So we'll come out of that, and we'll go into the front loader. So it's got a 61 horsepower engine, 11 mile an hour top speed. So it's got the 75 and a half grand standard base price straight out the blocks. But then again, there's no three point to be added to it. So that's probably why. You should stand against the wheel brands and the tyres. And that's your only options on that one. Then we come over to the SSV 75. This is your skid steer loader. 74 horsepower, 11 mile an hour top speed, 56 and a half grand to buy. You've got options there. Additional weight, standard, 45 kilos. So let's put those on the back there, on either side. 90, 135, or standard. So obviously, you add them on when you're lifting weights up the front. Obviously, it's only a little thing, so you keep yourself balanced. Then we go over to the SVL 97-2. So another skid steer loader, but with tracks. Now, that looks ace. I do like that. That looks brilliant. 96 horsepower, 7 mile an hour top speed, 77 grand, no options. But then again, you don't need options on that. That looks ace. So then we'll move on to the RTV XG850 Sidekick. Now obviously, this is going to be a big thing for the multiplayer side. Because with this Kubota pack, you can have multiple people riding in the vehicle with you. Ooh, very nice it's got a 48 horsepower engine 40 mile an hour top speed it's got 430 litre back on it very nice 11 and a half grand to buy the options you got there are attaches standard three point or stand match a three point on the back of that 48 horsepower oh no saying that some of the uh equipment mods that we've had out yeah you could run that maybe like a windrow or something or a tether hmm you got design Design one, two, puts that ball bar on the front, or one. And we'll come out of that and we'll go into the RTV X1140W-H. So this is a four-seater. So this is going to be the real one for your multiplayer. You know, on a map with a few mates. Obviously, two-seater is not really going to cut it. So, four seats. Very nice. 25 horsepower engine, 24 mile an hour top speed. It's only got a 280 litre back on it, mind you. So slightly smaller than the previous one, but you can carry four people. 15 and a half grand to buy. Then got options there. Configuration on capacity, 280 or 1,000 or three point. Now, why can't you have 1,000 and the three? Oh, I see. 1,000 takes the back seats away. Hmm. Oh, I think I'd rather have the back seats and the three point, to be fair. You then got design, design one. Or two, puts that ball bar on the front. Three or one. We'll come out of that. And this is your front loaders. So this is your 100 horsepower requirements. So this is going to be, so you click on combinations. That's going to be for your M6. Very nice. And then we've got the M77. No options on either of these. Going to require 180 horsepower. So this one is going to be for your M8. And that's your pack for you. Obviously, it is Kubota branded because it's the Kubota DLC. So, I do like this. <laughs> Look at it. That is awesome. <laughs> With the tracks. That looks brilliant. Oh, I love that. Very nice. <laughs> right. Drop it in the comments below. Which is your favourite part of this pack? I think either one of these is going to be a big draw for people. Since you can... Use it in multiplayer and carry more people around. We'll see what people are looking at anyway. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.